everybody, Chris Magnata, your leader for all over Colorado, of course, coming to you with my Friday market update and what a big news week we've had. So I'm going to start with the NAR settlement. So if you did not know, the Department of Justice came after the National Association of Realtors for antitrust violations. And guess what? They won, basically. They settled for 400 plus million. When I say they won, really the people that won were the lawyers, but that's a whole nother subject for another day. So they win and that's gonna change the way real estate is done going forward. Now, I do think it is significant. It is being completely blown out of proportion and all kinds of bad information out there on the news and social media. And so it's my job to tell you how garbage that is. So some of the things I've heard so far is it's gonna cause housing prices to go down. It's gonna cause housing prices to crash because people aren't gonna be afford, able to afford to pay their realtors a commission. And you know, without the commissions baked into the sales price, housing prices are gonna go down. Wrong and wrong. Real estate will continue to operate. We will still have just as much demand uh, as we've always had. And you know what? Real estate agents aren't going to work for free. Just like you guys don't work for free, real estate agents aren't going to work for free. So there's still going to be a cost involved in a transaction for real estate agents. That's just the way anything works. When you're buying or selling a product, there are costs associated with every single product you can think of. Real estate is no exception. So housing prices will not go down. Now, I've also heard, oh man, it's really going to make it so some people can't buy. Like, wow, they can't come up with the 3%. How are they ever going to buy? Mm, wrong, wrong, wrong again. There are going to be ways that you can move forward on a transaction and figure out ways to get your real estate agent paid. There are things like negotiations with the seller where the seller can pay it. There are seller concessions for lending. So I don't know if you knew this, but there already is allowed 6% seller concessions on FHA. There's already three to 6% concessions on conventional, 4% on VA. So there's already a baked in solution right now because real estate agent commissions are allowed as a seller concession in very rarely and I do a lot of business. Very, very rarely do I ever see the seller concessions maxed out. So there's going to be seller concessions to cover things like this. I do think it changes a lot about the way commissions are negotiated. I do, whether it be the buyer side, whether it be the seller side, I do think it changes the way contracts are written. I do for sure think it changes the way uh, commissions are advertised in the MLS. That's basically just not happening anymore. But at the end of the day, the market will adapt. With any major changes, there are going to be people who adapt and thrive. And there are going to be other people who don't adapt and maybe fall off. That is a reality uh, for sure. In 2010, that happened to my industry, the mortgage industry. Huge new regulations coming in. And a lot of it specifically targeted at loan officer commissions, just like this is specifically targeted at real estate agent commission. So yeah, it's a big deal, but it's also not. It's not going to fundamentally change real estate. Real estate is still going to be what is needed to put a roof over your head. It's still going to be a phenomenal investment. And at the end of the day, it's still going to be the American dream. And people, even if they're doing low down FHA, VA, will still be able to get into homes. So that's my quick recap of Thoughts on NAR. Uh, mortgage news, interest rates continue to go boop, 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 boop. Some days they're below 7%, some days they're above 7%. Right now, they are back below 7%, 6.9 as of the recording of this video. Of course, we always have options that beat that national average, but that is the latest and greatest. Thanks for watching this kind of long video. If you have any questions about financing a home, click down below or give us a call below. If you like the video, make sure you click like. And have an awesome day.